Immediately after the close of our last episode, when Prosecutor Apt discovered he'd been tricked, that Mason might have escaped in spite of all precautions, the police went into action. Again, the building was sealed off. And right now, Lieutenant Tragg's men are conducting a methodical floor-by-floor search in hope Mason is trapped in the building. But at this same time, many blocks away, a taxi stops at a crowded intersection. And a tall, distinguished gentleman walks quickly, quietly into the corner drugstore, goes to the row of public phone booths, and now, a moment later... Mrs. Jacobson. Yes. Who's it? How are you, Helen? Well, Mr. Mason. No, wait, Helen, wait. You don't know my name. I don't... What? You might think you know who this is speaking, but if I don't tell you, then you don't actually know. Oh. So in case anyone should happen to ask you, you can't say who called you because you don't know. Uh Ah, I've got it. Jake there? No. No, he's on the story. Everybody's on the story. I'll bet it's a good one. It's getting better all the time. Yes, well, I can't let it get much better. No? Hey, how'd you get away? Out the door. Jake said they roped off the building. Well, they unroped it long enough for me to... Uh, look, Helen, I'm rather busy right now, if you know what I mean. I can guess. So uh, let's save the explanations for later, hmm? Sure, sure. What can I... I'm calling about a special delivery letter. Letter? Yes, you'll get it in the morning. That's nice, I guess. Now, Helen, the material in that envelope is important. I didn't dare leave it in the office with Apton Trag around. Oh. And I didn't dare carry it with me. Seeing as how you might be detained? Hmm. So I took the liberty of mailing it to you. Well, that's okay. Where do I bring it? You don't, you don't, you don't. You give it to Della. Huh? She mails it to me. I give it back? That's it. Yeah, but Della might be held. No, she'll get away. After you call her. Why not let me bring the stuff to you? Hmm? Absolutely no. I'm asking for your help, but only up to a point. Well, but... Now, no argument, Helen. Okay. When do I give it to Della? Well, that is uh, something of a problem, you see. Uh... <clears throat> Della is in a little trouble herself. Oh, then they are holding her. Well, she can get away anytime she wants to, but... Huh? She doesn't know that I've escaped. Oh, Oh, so she'll be... She's probably in my office under guard and not causing trouble because she doesn't know which way to jump. Ah. Now, if she knows that you know about that letter, she'll know I told you and that I'm okay, but you will have to be careful. You got that? I've got it, stranger. Huh? I said stranger, because you are a stranger. I don't know who you are. Now, what is it you want me to get over to her? Let me alone, will you, Sergeant? What are you looking so sour about? What are you looking so sour about? Me? You are Sergeant Martin, aren't you? How do you like that? She tries to cover up how nervous she is by work and then gets mad at me. I suppose you're not nervous? Huh? Then why are you chewing that cigarette? Huh? Why don't you light it? Oh. Instead of chewing it. Now listen. And take your hat off in this office. Oh, quit riding me. All right, quit picking at me. All right, all right, all right. I know you're trouble, Miss Street, but you, you think your boss is still in the building. I do. Well, he better be. Tell me, Sergeant. Now listen. Since I've got to stay here and look at you, tell me something. Tell you what? What did the lieutenant say? Huh? Lieutenant Craig, you know. Oh, yeah. I know. 
What did he say? Uh, Lieutenant's okay. Oh, then he wasn't mad at you. Oh, I made a perfectly natural mistake. Oh. When the lieutenant stops seeing red, he'll understand. Oh. Only one thing with Mr. F jumping on the lieutenant. Now, don't answer that. What? Don't touch that phone. Don't you be silly. Look, I'm the law, Miss Street. I was told what to do. I'll answer it. Yeah? Huh? No, there's no Mrs. Jacobson here. Martin. Oh. Oh, this is Mrs. Jacobson. Let me speak to her, Martin. Uh, just a minute. Give me the phone. You ought to contact nobody, Miss Street. That's all. But why? I can't help it. What if it's an important message? That's just it. You're to get no messages. Oh, wait a minute. Now what? I think I'll let you talk to her. But I'll be listening through the switchboard. That's an invasion of privacy. Suit yourself. Either I listen or you don't talk. Oh, all right. Okay, I've got the switchboard phone cut in now. Helen? Hey, what's going on in your office? Everything. And who is that man? That was no man. That was an ape called Sergeant Martin. Who? Lieutenant Tragg's assistant. Say hello to the lady, Sergeant. Hey. Sergeant Martin, meet Mrs. Jacobson. No. Why, he doesn't sound happy. Just ignore him, Helen. Is he still there? Mm, With the other phone clutched in his hairy little fist. Now, you listen. I'm glad you called, Helen. Oh, troubles? Well, you mean you haven't heard? Part of it. You don't sound too happy either. Because I don't know anything. I can't even think I'm so worried. They're searching the building, and if they find Perry... And they will. You be quiet. I'm sorry you feel that way, Della. I can sympathize. I've got troubles, too. What? Well, you know that dress pattern you sent me? Dress pattern? Yeah, the dress pattern you sent me by special delivery. Oh, the dress pattern. Yes, it got there all right? Well, it got here in perfect shape, Della, but it's a size too large. Oh, Helen. You'll have to return it. Oh, really? Oh, a couple of dames carry on. It's a very special pattern. pattern, too. Another thing, I don't understand the directions. What about meeting me in the morning? Uh, morning? Uh-huh. In morning? In the coffee shop for breakfast, say, 8.30? Yes, I'll be fine. Well, then you can explain and tell me what to do. All right, Helen, it's a day. Now, you, you'll be able to get away. The trouble and all, you, you don't think they'll hold you? I'm sure they won't. You're positive? Positive. In fact, the guy for me to see just walked in the door. I'll see you, Helen. What's the meaning of this, Martin? It's okay, Mr. Rapp. Some dame, John, about a dress pattern. A what? Dress pattern. Ah. Uh. Well, any luck so far? No, but we'll keep looking. It'll take most of the night to search through the whole building, Mr. Adams. Very probably. And I think you should know that I don't intend to stay here that long. Oh, you don't. Would you prefer a nice, comfortable jail cell? I thought you might take that line. Well, and you aren't surprised. And not worried, either. You can't hold me. No, can't I? Look, I haven't worked for a lawyer all these years for nothing, Mr. Adams. Then you should know the penalty for helping a wanted criminal evade arrest. It was your idea that Mr. Mason was trying to escape from that packing case. I told you that there were books in it, but oh, no, you were too smart to listen. You saw Mason after he sent us running. I did not. I didn't see him, and I don't know where he is. So now I'm going to put on my coat... And my hat, and lock my desk, and go home. Now, not so fast, young woman. And on the way, I shall stop and buy a paper. I hope they've come out with some nice pictures of you carrying that case of books. Uh, Mr. Ant. Fearless prosecutor bravely catches books single-handed. All right, all right, Miss Street. For that, I can hold you 24 hours for questioning, and by heaven... Mr. Ant, Mr. Ant. Well, let her go. What? Let her go. Go on. Go on, Miss Street, you go. You go home, and I'll call down and tell him to let you go. Why, Sergeant Martin, I had no idea you were so sweet. <laughs> now explain yourself. Listen, Mr. App, that phone call was strictly phony. What? Now, before that dame called, Miss Street was biting her nails. But after the call, she was full of fight. Uh, yeah, she, she did uh, seem to... I don't know how they worked it, but that dame told Miss Street something. Yeah. And they made a date to have a meeting in the morning. Oh-ho. Uh-huh. So what say we cover it tonight and then cover that meeting, huh? How does that sound to you, Mr. Apt? I say it sounds excellent. Alert the men downstairs, Sergeant. And right away. Well, it seems that Sergeant Martin was listening a bit more closely than Della realized. In fact, if Martin should be there when Helen passes that all-important letter to Della in the morning, why... But 
Won't you be there with us? 